Aquas. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Aquarius, Sun, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from October 23rd to the 31st, and I hope you guys are doing good. For those who've never seen my channel before or my videos, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or someone within your environment could be experiencing, or someone you're energetically attached to, and it can be vice versa. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. Aqua. I started playing with the cards while I talk about medita my meditative session. Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's on Mercury Retrograde yet. Oh, it'll be fun when that starts. Anyway, um, I started playing with the cards while I talk about my meditative session uh, because I find that it actually brings up more messages for me, okay? So let's just go ahead and get into it. So Aquas, uh, I heard you turn. I know. I can feel your cringe already. <laughs> I know. I can feel it, Aqua. I can feel it. Something I feel like is making you like like turn, like wanting not glitch but like wanting wanting to turn around look back at something um and i feel like you're feeling that tug energetically it's funny they actually did show me a rope in a lasso so i was like oh shit okay so aqua you're you're chugging along you're looking forward i do feel a lot of you have paved a new path here and made some some big changes in your life okay as of late um and because of that, you're feeling really free. You're feeling really good. Uh, you're really confident about where you're going, but something's making you turn back. Could this be your own self-doubt? Maybe. I don't think it is. I really feel like someone's pulling on you energetically, okay? Uh, and that can happen sometimes. That can happen sometimes, especially when we break free. A lot of people that we're energetically attached to can feel that, and sometimes they tug back. <laughs> like, where are you going, Aqua? <laughs> uh, and I feel like some of you guys are experiencing that, Okay. Something's making you want to look back at something or someone, a U-turn kind of energy. Be very careful of that, okay? I did see a ferret, which I, I was like, oh, I'm going to play with the cards, and I didn't play with the cards. Star, Aqua, Ten of Wands, and a verse, Sag energy. Yeah, you've recently dropped some burdens here. You've recently been freed, Aqua, and someone's pulling on you. Someone's pulling on you. I don't know why all of a sudden I saw a horse. Uh... You could know a Sag, you could have that in your chart. I feel like it's Sag related. Three of Wands, Aries energy. Yeah, tugging from afar. Tugging from afar. Someone's pulling on you energetically, Aqua. You could even be having dreams about this person. Not necessarily, but that came through really quickly for some of you. You could have been having dreams about this person. Anyway, Aqua, whoever's pulling on you, I feel like... Are they harnessing ferret energy? Actually, Aqua, I think it's you. I think you are going to be harnessing ferret energy. Ferret energy can be a little fierce. It can be very, um, uh, it's kind of like a fight energy. It's an aggressive energy. It's a standing up for yourself energy because whatever's pulling on you, you don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. I feel like you don't want to go back to, well, okay, let me put it this way. I don't think you don't like what it is. I think you don't like that you're being pulled back on it. I think that's what it is because you are really focused on what's ahead and you worked really hard to get there and you're like, God damn it. <laughs> what now? <laughs> what now? I've been recently freed. I don't want to be, that's what it is. You don't want to be restricted again because you fought for your freedom here, Aqua. Whether it's in a, within a work environment, within a, a social dynamic, uh, large or small, small being you and another person. But someone's trying to lasso you. Someone's trying to lasso you and it's almost like you're bothered. You're bothered, okay? You're very bothered by it. And I think it might trigger you a little bit into that like ferret warrior kind of like energy here. Okay? Wait, where? Usually he comes running. That's why I'm like, where's my cat? Clyde? It's really weird he's not coming for the food. I'm so sorry, guys. I just have to check that he's actually in the apartment. I don't know how he could have gotten out. I did do laundry earlier, but let me just go check. I'll be right back. I promise. Clyde? Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you. I... Oh, bless you. Okay. <laughs> oh, Clyde. He was just dead asleep dead asleep oh my god i was like are you, are you okay he's fine anyway i'm sorry aqua i'm sorry had to be a moment for a second okay aqua uh so you're gonna be harnessing some ferret energy you're gonna be fairly triggered by this because i think it's gonna shock you and surprise you and it's i don't think it's that you have any animosity towards this person i really don't think think so at all you're just kind of like ten of wands in a verse you don't want to be burdened you want to be free you want to be free 
Page of Swords with a Star in Reverse. They've been watching you, Aqua. Either they started watching you closely and then you felt the energetic pull, or they're trying to communicate with you, hence the energetic pull. Either way, you cut it, they're pulling on you. They're pulling on you and for some, they're watching you, okay? For some, they're watching you. Keep in mind, this can be vice versa. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. By the way, uh, all the decks I use have links below in case you guys want them for yourselves. This is the Santa Muerte deck. I never pronounce it right. I always try. It's like you pronounce it. Anyway, let's get into it. Poising forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 23rd to the 31st. Poising forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of cards, but I'll take them. It's, it is just a pre-shuffle here. Ah, Seven of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Five of Pentacles, Jesus, Taurian Energy, Two of Pentacles in Reverse, Cappy Energy, Two of Cups in Reverse, Cancerian Energy. Ah, oh, Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy with the Three of Swords in Reverse, Libra Energy and Empress in Reverse. More Libra Energy could also be Taurus, Divine Feminine Energy, Venus Energy. Wow, this is a lot of shit, Aqua. I definitely feel like this is your person. The person is trying to lasso you back or make you turn around, make you do a U-turn. Seven of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, this is someone who really kind of just... How do I say this? They feel like they lost... They feel like they lost it all. But with the Seven of Swords, that definitely indicates that there was some deceit or sabotage that took place in order for them to lose it all, okay? They could have thought that maybe you got it, you did a sneaky getaway. They could have thought that. Maybe maybe you snuck away. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Um, it could have been something on their end that left them at a loss here, okay? I feel like they they feel the loss. They feel the loss, Aqua, no matter what happened. But Two of Pentacles in a verse with the Two of Cups in a verse, uh, definitely a connection was dropped. A connection was dropped. They feel the loss of that. Seven of Cups with the Three of Swords in reverse. There is healing taking place here. I feel like someone does have options. This Empress is not giving any energy to this person. Aqua, I do feel like this is you. You've healed from a situation. You've dropped the situation. You freed yourself. You're going. And now you're getting pulled on because someone's feeling the loss of that. Okay, let's keep it going. Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love. <clears throat> that was hard to get out. Love. <laughs> Aqua, I mean, it could be plain and simple that maybe you just don't love this person anymore. It could just be that. It could just be that. Wow, we've got Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. So definite soulmate energy here. you got a history here. You definitely have a history with this person. Uh, and it's funny, I said, maybe you don't love this person anymore. I think you do. I think you have love for them. You might not be in love versus love. Let's not get into that conversation. Um, but there's emotion here. There's nice, warm, fuzzy emotion here, but Aqua, you've been recently freed. Even if, the, even if, I don't think this is the person you recently freed yourself from if you recently got out of a relationship. It feels older than that, which is interesting to me. It feels old. The connection feels like it started a while ago. It could be something they just have had a lot of past lives with, okay? But I don't feel like this is someone you've recently left. I feel like you've dropped a lot of shit in your life, and now that you're going, 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 this person feels it for whatever reason and now they're like trying to come back in aqua they might they might have abilities okay for some of you this person might have abilities it's almost like they feel a lot of space around you yeah this is interesting they feel a lot of space around you that might be why they're comfortable coming in because maybe they don't feel as threatened by whatever you got whatever else you had going on that you recently freed yourself from keep in mind we are entering mercury retrograde season past always comes back all kinds of past comes back and this is going to be a doozy one a very quite a doozy lazarus season here okay so what else wants to come out <laughs> the fool aqua this is the uranus card it's also aries for me as a reader here but yeah uh, Oh my god, and I'm drawn to that butterfly. Look look how happy this fool looks. Like, just check it out, that butterfly. Aqua, I feel like that's the energy you've been in, and all of a sudden it's like, what the hell? Now there's a rope around my waist, and now I'm being pulled back and looking back at this old person, looking back at my history. For what? Like, yeah, some of you guys are really annoyed. Some of you guys are really, really annoyed. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, they're coming, Aqua. Whoever this is, they're coming. Whatever you've recently done to free yourself... People from your past can sense it, and I do feel for some of you, this for most of you, most of you, this is not someone that you've recently released yourself from. I gotta say that again. 
This is not someone that you've recently released yourself from, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the reading. Uh, for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Oh, excuse me. As you heard me say... <laughs> As you heard me set the intention already, okay? Um, also, guys, we are working with energies. Just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating, you already know who you are in the story. No need to make it fit, okay? Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We're working with energy, not gender. We all have masculine and feminine energy. This is timestamp from the 23rd to the 31st, but whenever you're gutted to watch your reading is when you're gutted to watch it. Time is not linear. We work through energy at different rates. It's just for organizational purposes that I do it that way. Okay? All right. Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. I don't know why I feel we need to keep saying it. It, it can be vice versa. I feel like some guys are still asking me that. It can, it can be vice versa. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Ooh, Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse is illusions. It's illusions, it's deceit, it's lack of clarity, confusion. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, last read of the day, guys. Uh, it can also be confusion here. I feel like this is something coming to light, though. I almost feel like it's illusions, lies, and deceit that's now being brought to light. So we're getting truth about the illusions. That's that's actually, that's honestly, God, what I'm getting with this. That's what I'm getting with this. Um, also, something about an agreement. Hold on. Something about an agreement. Aqua, whatever's coming to light here, um, because of this pulling of the chain, <laughs> pulling of the rope. I would not be surprised if the devil card comes out. Uh, I feel like there was an agreement between you and this person and something wasn't clear or something wasn't followed right. Like a rule was broken. I, I just feel like an agreement that someone did not adhere to. Thank you. <laughs> we get there eventually. An agreement someone did not adhere to or there was like funky stipulation, whether that was an actual contract or an unspoken agreement between you and this person. Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy, recognition. Like I said, what did I say? Attention to basically the illusions, attention to the shit that wasn't right, attention to the lies is coming to light. That's exactly what this is. Exactly what this is. Any other messages? Ooh, Magician in Reverse, Mercurial Energy, Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius or Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy. Manipulate, manipulation. <laughs> can't speak manipulation trickery trickery coming through as the ace of swords in reverse yeah whatever happened in the past between an unspoken agreement or an actual contract between you and this person uh there were lies there was illusions there was deceit all because someone was manipulating the situation it's now being brought to attention it's now being brought to light everything happens for a reason that's why this you got to do a u-turn with this person here okay it's probably just to get some closure on the situation just close it out once and for all I love you, Aka. I did. Uh, uh, Aka? Jesus. I love you, Aka. I just heard I did close it out. Well, clearly you didn't. Okay. Sometimes we think we do and there's a hell of a lot more to be shown. You might not have realized that there was this that needed to come to, that needed to, come to the light. You might not have realized it. Okay. Now we have a page of pentacles with the eight of swords in reverse Gemini energy. Yeah, someone's reaching out here, Aqua. This is the person trying to lasso you. Eight of swords in reverse. I feel like they've been carrying guilt with them. They're releasing themselves from guilt, and in releasing themselves from guilt, they're coming to you, bringing light to the past. Interesting. I definitely feel, um, is it a phone call? I think it's Aqua. You might get an actual phone call from this person, not a text. You might actually get a phone call. Interesting. Any other messages for Aquarius? seven of swords again aquarian energy this landed right on top of the six of wands and what is the six of wands doing bring attention to the bullshit from the past yeah whatever this has been because of that i'm actually gonna put this over but with the six of wands it it, it definitely belongs with this ace of swords in verse it definitely does so i'm gonna keep that over there i know you guys can't see my board but i organize the energies by the cards 
Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. Oh, now we got a Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. I do feel like this is you, Aquarius. It's definitely the feminine energy at play who's getting lassoed. The feminine energy is getting lassoed for sure, okay? I don't feel like it's from another feminine energy. I do feel like it's from a masculine energy who was up to no good in the past. That shit's coming to light now because they're releasing themselves from guilt. They might, honestly, Aqua, they might just want to make amends with you. They might just want to own up to shit, you know? Sometimes that happens. Oh, wait, ooh. Some of, you, some of you, this person wants to do this because of an AA program. I don't know why that just, that came in really strong all of a sudden. This person could be working a program. AA is coming in really strong. That's really interesting. That's very specific. That's not for all of you. That's for some of you. Yeah, someone's working an, an AA program and they want to make amends with you, um, which is why they're coming in here. And you're like, why are they coming back? Well, they got to make their amends. And that's why they're bringing attention to this. Because this is like, Six of Wands is attention and it's action behind getting the attention interesting either way you're gonna find information out overall energy we have the world fixed energy aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn controls capricorn here underneath that we have the hair font in reverse taurian energy and then we've got that six of cups again scorpionic energy past life soulmate karmic energy also um family energy as well i don't feel family here though it feels like romance and then we have the empress libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy overall aqua look at this you got three majors three out of four in this overall energy with the world there is a whole new cycle starting here with this person reaching out to you bringing uh shedding light onto the bullshit of the past that I do feel like they're responsible for and they're really coming clean which is kind of amazing here uh Herophant in reverse uh they didn't adhere to the rules something about the rules the rules to the unspoken agreement the rules to the to the connection whatever it is uh, they didn't adhere to them. They weren't clear about them. But Six of Cups and the Empress, they do have a lot of emotion for you. And this is definitely about a soulmate connection. You have a major history with this person here, Aqua. You're coming across as a Queen of Swords and an Empress. They have a lot of respect for you. And maybe you didn't know that, but they do. They definitely do. And they have emotion for you too. Okay? And they're coming clean. But it's freaking you out. It's freaking you out. It's making you turn into the ferret. Okay? <laughs> I can feel it. It's making you want to go like, warrior mode queen of swords mode what the hell you want <laughs> what do you really want that's that's a queen of swords that's a queen of swords queen of swords has been through some shit right so let's look at the seven of swords yeah let's look at the seven of swords because i really i don't think they're trying to deceive you right now i really feel like it's about the deceptions of the past and they're bringing it to light because they feel guilty and they want to make amends to you okay so let's look at the seven of swords um hmm I'm feeling cosmic tarot here. Let me go over here. Can I the seven of swords? Can I have the seven of swords? Can I have the seven of swords for Aquarius? Regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Can I have the seven of swords for Aquarius? Regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Seven of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. October 23rd of the 31st. Huh. <clears throat> Time of the Seven of Swords. <laughs> Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine, 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 feminine <laughs> energy. You, Aqua, not happy, right? Not happy. Uh, they crossed you. They crossed you. They betrayed you. They did some shit to you. Whether it was an actual, like, contractual agreement or not, the Six of Cups keeps coming up again. Scorpionic energy, past life soulmate karmic energy. Again, they have emotion for you, and this is something that took place in the past. Um, I think you really have emotion for them too, Aqua. I, I do. I really think you do. I don't think you'll admit it, but I'm pretty sure you do here. Let's see what else wants to come out. The betrayal took place in the past. I, I can't say that enough. They want me to keep saying that. So I have the Seven of Swords. So I have the Seven of Swords for Aquarius. High Priestess in reverse. Secrets will be revealed. Piscean energy could also be Gemini as a reader. Yeah, secrets of the past are being dug up here, Aqua, and they're the ones bringing attention to it, to you. So I have the Seven of Swords for the partner, for Aquarius, excuse me. So I have the Seven of Swords for Aquarius <laughs> regarding love. 
Wow, with the Hierophant, Taurian energy here. We have the High Priestess in reverse next to the freaking Hierophant. They're righting wrongs. They're doing the right thing. They're doing the right thing. They're, they're re revealing secrets about the commitment that they had with you, whether it was an actual contract or business agreement or a romantic relationship, a friendship, whatever kind of commitment it was. They didn't follow the rules. They were up to some shit and they crossed you and they're, re re they're revealing that, okay? Overall energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy with the Three of Cups. Cancerian energy and then we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Aqua, I think they might want a reconciliation here. They're willing to put in the effort into reconciliation. Wow, yeah, five of swords in reverse underneath that. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. They want your forgiveness here. I think some of them might... Yeah, okay. This is going beyond just closure. This is going beyond just closure. They actually want to reconcile with you. And more than that, for some, they do want a commitment again with you. They never stop caring about you. Oh, Aqua, we're going there. We're going there. They never stop caring about you. Um, uh, oh no, I'm not crying today. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm not crying today. <laughs> did a lot of crying already with all the purging I had to do. Um, they never stopped caring about you. I think that's also why the Seven of Swords is upright because they are kind of sneaking up on you to, to have this conversation to make this amends. It might start out as just making amends. Like I was saying, for some, they're working a program of some sort, or they feel like they have to, to make things right in their life, to close karma, uh, to cl close karmic doors and karmic cycles, um, to make up for the bad things that they've done. For some, it's just as benign as that. Others, they want more than that. Not only do they want to come clean, they want a reconciliation, and they really want to put in the effort on it. Really want to put in the effort, and they feel like they have to come clean uh, to, do, to do so. Otherwise, the Wheel of Fortune is not going to start turning forward. Um, but they never stop caring about you. Wow. And for some, they want a full-blown commitment. I know that scares you, Aqua. <laughs> I just felt that. So I don't from this person from the past. And keep in mind, this could just be a friendship. <clears throat> Excuse me. This could just be someone wanting to be a friend, like a friend again. This could be, you know, um, a family member just wanting to be like, hey, I just want to be cool again. It feels romantic, though. It does feel romantic for a lot of you. So let's look at the Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. We'll look at the Page of Pentacles and look at their offer. And then we'll look at you <laughs> in your in your warrior stance. Look, look at how you're standing. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway. Being silly today. Um, I'm use Rider Wait here for the Page of Pentacles. And Page of Pentacles can be a friendly card or a card indicating friendship some of this could simply just be a friend okay so i have a page of pentacles they're also going to say i learned i learned some yeah they're going to say that to you aqua they're going to say I, I i learned from my mistakes i learned from my mistakes so i have a page of pentacles for aquarius regarding love october 23rd to the 31st so i have a page of pentacles for aquarius regarding love October 23rd to the 31st. So I have the Page of Pentacles. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Page of Swords in reverse with the hair font in reverse Taurian energy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the lies. I'm sorry for not following the rules. Epitome of that. Epitome of that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry for not following the rules of our agreement, of our commitment. Uh, <clears throat> yeah sorry for deceiving you i'm sorry for lying i'm hearing blurring the lines blurring the lines that could have been i know there's a song blurred lines that could have been a song that might resonate with you with this person or maybe that was one of your songs um i think they might have blurred the lines of an agreement or something that was spoken between the two of you spoken or unspoken they blurred the lines this is them saying sorry for that so I'm at the Page of Pentacles for Aquarius. So I'm at the Page of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. So I'm at the Page of Pentacles for Aquarius. So I'm at the Page of Pentacles for Aquarius 
Regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Let's see what we got here. Wow. <laughs> Two of Wands in reverse. Aries energy with the Eight of Wands Sagittarian energy. Do you want to move forward with me? Can we talk? Can we maybe work this out? Can I walk this new path with you? They, wow, Aqua, they're really trying to make it up to you. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Four of Cups in reverse underneath that. I'm getting abandonment with this. Uh, full in reverse, Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Uh, they have a lot of guilt over their actions, and their actions are screaming abandonment. Like abandonment or like rejecting. Like, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. They might have agreed to a commitment, Aqua, or they might have agreed to some kind of agreement. <laughs> they agreed to something that they didn't have an intention on following on. Oh, well, that's that's not good. That's not gonna. Oh, that, that's that's hard to forgive. Whatever they agreed to, they had no intention of actually honoring it, and they've carried this guilt ever since. And that's what they want to say sorry for. Wow, my stomach just turned. Um, huh. <laughs> sorry, Aqua. I'm just like, wow. Uh, they agreed to something they had no intention of honoring with you. That's what they're apologizing for. I'm a Scorpio. That'd be really hard for me to get over. <laughs> That'd be really hard for me to get over. I'm just being honest here. I'm just being honest. I'm human. I'm human like everyone else. I, I might be enlightened and all that, but you know, we've all got our thing. That would be really hard for me to get over. Can I forgive someone if they did that to me? That'd be hard for me. That'd be hard for me. I'm just, I'm just chit-chatting with you guys. Anyway, let's look at you, okay? Let's look at the Queen of Swords. Let's look at the Queen of Swords. Uh, I'm gonna use Gilded for this one, actually. They, they really want to, though, Aqua. They really have... They never stop caring. That's the thing. They care about you, but whatever they agreed to, they just, it's like they couldn't be honest. It's so weird. It's like, I don't, I just don't understand that. Why would you agree to something you have no intention of following in on? I don't get that. I personally don't get that, but that's just me. That's just me. But that's what exactly what I'm looking at here. So I have the Queen of Swords. So I have the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. the Queen of Swords for Aquarius regarding love October 23rd to the 31st time of the Queen of Swords for Aquarius regarding love October 23rd to the 31st time of the Queen of Swords for Aquarius regarding love October 23rd to the 31st okay Three of Wands, Aries energy, interesting. Energy of expectation. I'm getting expectation with this. I think you're just taking the information in. I think as this person talks, you're just kind of like, hmm. <laughs> you're, 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 you're holding back your reaction. You're holding back your reaction. Uh, I do feel there's a distance between you and this person. There could be a lot of distance. Ooh, Five of Cups. Scorpionic energy. Oh, Aqua, whatever you're hearing, it's upset. It, yeah, no wonder you're not saying anything. It's upsetting you. It's upsetting you. Uh, this person's also felt very much at a loss about you, Aqua. I think you grieved over this person quite a bit whenever this took place, and then you moved on with your life. And I think that's also why, kind of like why you're like, why, why, why are you back? Like, why? And then they tell you the truth, and it just kind of brings up that pain a little bit. Oh. So I have the Queen of Swords. So I have the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. So I have the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. They were very uncommittal. Uncommittal. Non-committal. They were very non-committal. They were very in and out. They were very unpredictable, very unreliable. I think when you were dealing with this person, Aqua, they broke your heart. I'm just being real with you. I think they broke your heart. Committed to something they had no intention of following through on. Yeah. And then we have Knight of Swords here. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. I feel like this is them communicating the truth to you. So I have the Queen of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. October 23rd to the 31st. Let's see here. Yeah. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and the Ace of Swords in reverse here. 
They're wanting, they're wanting to tell you the truth about the non-truth. <laughs> the truth about the bullshit from the past. Ah, uh, like I said, they care about you. They really do. Um, but they definitely were not honest in the past. And that's what they're coming in to talk to you about the dishonesty here. And they're coming to build with you, collaborate with you, even if it's just to sit down and have a conversation, they just want to talk. And if you're open to it, they would like to have some kind of reconciliation, even a possible commitment for, for some of you. That's up to you, Aqua. But I, I can tell this shit coming back up again is very upsetting to you. Overall energy, we have a two of wands, Aries energy. You're going to be in decision mode on what to do about this. And I feel like you're not going to know what to do because then we have a nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, ace of wands in reverse. This is not having the confidence in making this decision or the passion either. You don't want to make this choice. You don't want to, yeah. You don't want to be presented with this. You don't want to be presented with this. It's almost like opening up a wound again. Or maybe realizing the wound never really fully healed. Oh, Aqua, that could also be why this person's back. It's bringing up old shit from the past that's very upsetting. And it's adding more truth to it. The truth that you weren't aware of. And you're like, holy fuck. Like, that's really what was going on. And it's like, it's, it's upsetting. It's upsetting. But they're coming clean. They're coming clean. Um... And they never stopped caring about you. They did care about you, Aqua. I know, I know. I'm already hearing you. Yeah, they cared about you in a fucked up way. They did, okay? <laughs> they agreed to something they shouldn't have agreed to. Whatever your agreement with this person was. Um, but they do care about you. They do. And they're going to put you in a position of, hey, like, do you accept my apology? Number one. Number two, can we reconcile and be chill with each other? Number three, can we have a possible commitment for some of you, not all of you? decision time and you are just like I don't want to touch this this decision with a 10-foot pole wow okay all right let's get advice actually let's pull some soul journey cards it feels appropriate it feels appropriate here uh any messages or takeaways you want my aquas to be aware of regarding this spread any messages or takeaways you owe my aquas to be aware of regarding the spread? That's a lot of cards. We're not taking all those. That's too many. <laughs> okay. Any messages or takeaways? Any messages or takeaways they owe my aquas to be aware of regarding the spread? Any messages or takeaways you owe my aquas to be aware of regarding the spread? Wow, success came out. I'm surprised. I know that there is no greater goal, oh, goal than to love. Aqua Spirit is basically nudging you to be like, I know this is hard. I'm talking. This is Spirit talking here. I know this is hard, but to come from a place of compassion and understanding in order to forgive so that there can be some kind of closure leading to success here. Whatever the success is for you, whether it's leaving this person behind for good or possibly reconciling with them. It's to come from a place of compassion and understanding. I mean, I can't imagine coming clean about something like this. It does take some balls to come clean about something like this, right? But if yeah, to have success in the situation, it's really to come from a place of, of of compassion and love and understanding. And I know that's hard. It's not it's not easy for everyone to do that. And I feel like most people couldn't forgive this kind of a person or situation unless they were very evolved or very much healed and along in their spiritual growth and spiritual path here. Okay, because at the end of the day, I mean, everyone's just a reflection of ourselves that come across our path, whether it's just our shadow side and the lowest, lowest vibrations of ourselves or the highest vibration of ourselves. So to forgive someone is also forgiving yourself. So try to think of it that way, Aqua, that might help you. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. This person, this person is doing what they have to do for themselves. Let me put it this way. This person is making amends with you because they have to do that to get on their path and to grow. That might help you a little bit with wanting to forgive this person. Okay. There can be forgiveness here. There can be. I'm surprised forgiveness isn't out here. Um, this person wants wants to better themselves, and this is a way of doing that. And that should I, I feel like that should be acknowledged. That should be acknowledged. It ain't easy to forgive someone like this or something like this, but they're trying. Any other messages or takeaways regarding this spread for Aquarius? Any other messages or takeaways regarding this spread for Aquarius? 
Oh, that's it on the bottom. Ooh, worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Like I said, Aquas, you're going to be uh, a little triggered by this. Uh, there's no point to having all the all of this like worry and concern about it. Also, this is for the approacher, the person doing the approaching, because underneath that we do have guilt. Yeah, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. The person who's doing the approaching is very worried to do this. They're full of a lot of ang anxious emotions. Worry and guilt are very anx anxious driven, anxiety driven. That's the way to say it. Anxiety driven emotions here. Um, but they're doing it anyway. They're doing it anyway to better themselves and to grow and to have some kind of sense of closure and to relieve themselves of these burdens here, Aqua. I know that's hard. <laughs> I know that's hard here. Okay. Um, but like I said, everyone's kind of a reflect. Oh. Thank you. Everyone we come in contact with is basically a reflection of ourselves in some way, shape, or form, whether it's just the lowest, lowest of vibrations, all the way up to the highest or somewhere in between. Think about that when you try to forgive this person and that they are trying to better themselves. Not everyone does that, right? All right, let's get some advice. Ay, ay, ay. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? 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 Ooh, swan spirit, time for a deep dive. Dig deep, aqua. <laughs> six deep breaking down to a six. It's a very Piscean card. The six is kind of reminding me of a six of cups here. Dig deep into your soul here, aqua, for some understanding and for some love for this person. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. There's also an energy of self-reflection. This person who's approaching you has self-reflected a lot. They've done a lot of, a lot of looking at themselves to be able to do this dig deep try to you know another good way of going about this remember the good times i know there was some shit that obviously went down they committed to something they had no intention of following through on that kind of sucks dig deep into your history with this person into the good moments those moments that you shared where you guys laughed and there was that shared kind of friendly love family love 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 whatever it is because they do care about you they do in their own i know i heard you guys in your own messed up in their own messed up way they do care Dig deep for that to forgive this person, okay? Any other advice? Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. I like it. This is about being balanced in dark and light energies, masculine and feminine energies. Um, I also feel like it's about the actual truth here. Two sides of the same story. You know your truth. And at the time, because you didn't have the full truth, right, you probably had to fill in the puzzle pieces, fill in the blanks. And now they're telling you the full story, their side of the story. There are two sides of every story, guys. And so, so maybe it's also making you realize whatever assumptions you made were very wrong about this person. And maybe that they're, they are just human at the end of the day. You know, we all got a shadow side and sometimes our shadow side takes over, especially when we haven't done a whole lot of healing. And maybe when this person did this to you, they had a lot of ego that was running the show. And that could have been that could have just been it. Right. Remember that this person's also human, too. I'm not telling you to take them back into your life. You can always forgive them and send them on their way. You don't have to invite them back in, but it's important to recognize that everyone's human. Any other advice for Aquarius? Any other advice for Aquarius? Oh, Nightingale spirit, love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. This is indicative of having a very significant love interest involved in this reading. Clearly it is for some of you. Also an energy of change. This person has changed. They're trying to change. They're trying to better themselves. They're really, really trying here. I feel like they're also learning to love themselves a lot more. They've been doing some, some shadow work themselves. Um, that's why that's out here. And also a reminder to come from a place of love because they do care about you. They do. Any other advice? Oh, there we go, Aqua. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. 37, a cyclical energy. Close this cycle with compassion and understanding. This card's all about compassion and having a healthy ego, right? Having a healthy ego and coming from a place of love and remembering that 
there are all kinds of aspects to people. There's a shadow side, there's a light side. There's also the side of humanity and this sometimes being human means we, got, we fuck up, right? Any other advice? You're gonna have to dig, you're really gonna have to dig deep here, Aqua. You're gonna have to. Any other advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Overall, ooh, white raven spirit, trust in ma- I just heard believe in miracles, oh my God. Uh, 66, a master number. Like I said, this person's trying. They've been doing some shadow work. Um, they're trying to come. They're trying to come to you honest. Not easy to do when they're admitting that they agreed to something that they had no intention of following through on. That takes balls to admit out loud. Spirits urging you to come from a place of compassion. This is all happening for a reason, and trust that it's happening for a reason. You're gonna grow from this too. You're gonna grow from this conversation too, and it's gonna be very healing for you as well in a way that maybe you didn't expect, and maybe. What you really don't expect is that maybe you guys can reconcile in some way, shape, or form to carry on a friendship, an acquaintanceship, whatever is best for you. You're the masters of your own life. Remember that. You, It's up to you, Aqua, Empresses. Empresses, it's up to you what you want to do with this person. But I really encourage you to quite literally dig deep down to at least forgive them and accept their apology and their amends. If you want to take it further, that's up to you. But I, I really encourage you to do that, not just for you, but also for them, because they're really trying and they're only human, right? All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aquas. Namaste.